Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to create a responsive navigation bar purely with CSS. Let's start with making the HTML file and making the CSS file. Let's type the HTML. Okay, here we go. Now let's fill everything. If you want to learn how to code HTML that fast using it, check out my 2 minute video teaching you the basics of it. Let's start styling. Go to fonts.google.com, look for source and for, and select the regular style. Now let's import it into our CSS. Then let's start with the basics. I'll give a background to the body. Then let's start starting our navigation bar. Let's set the position to be fixed, display to be flex, width to 100%, height to 6.7 bh, and background to 222628. Let's quickly take care of our logo. We we'll set the width and height to 5vh, set object fit to contain, background to white, then border radius to 50%. Now let's go back and set the justify content to space between. Now let's set this guy to display none for the moment. We will also align eyes and send set the font family to those sans. So, Set font size to 1.8 vh, then set the padding. Lastly, add a C index above 0 to make sure it renders above everything else. Let's move on to the list. Then let's remove the bullet from the list item. Now let's style the links. Text decoration none color white margin left 3 vh and opacity 0.7 in the first list item there's margin but we don't want you see to fix that we'll copy this and select the first list item in there then we'll say margin zero then we'll add a hover effect i'll set the opacity to one and the color to zero zero a a f f. Then here I'll add transition zero point three seconds or. Now we have a nice animation when we have our link. When we are active on a certain page, we'll give that link a certain style. Let's style that class. I'll give it opacity of one. The background I'm going to use HSL colors. To 10, 100 percent and 60 percent i'm going to give it some padding the color of black one weight of ball a border radius of one vh then the border bottom we're done with desktop vistas now let's move on to mobile let's say media screen and max width 768 pixels. Let's readjust this a little. We'll first start the unordered list. I set the position to be fixed with 100%. Bottom 0, left 0. I'll give you the same background from before. Then I'll give it a height of 12 VW. Then I'll justify content space evenly then I'll align item center then we we'll remove the margins from the links so we'll copy this guy here border radius 2 VW and padding 1.5 VW and 3 VW then we change the font size to 3.5 VW 
now you got the choice to either hide it or have it look like this i have a separate video showing how you can make the navbar disappear or reappear on your scroll i added a padding now i'll make it a little smaller now i'll make the image smaller too i'll give the width and height of 8 vw now i bring out that paragraph you definitely didn't forget about i set the display to initial the color to white and the cursor to default that's all if you're wondering why we use vw as a unit it's because it will adjust to any screen quite easily the font sizes and the heights change depending on the screen we use vh for the same reason to look the same on a 720p panel or on a 4k panel now we check out my m8 video to write html this fast or check out how to make this navigation by hide or reappear on your scroll don't forget to like share and subscribe